Good morning, everyone. I am I Martinez. My name is Itzel, and today it's Monday. It's not just Monday. It's also Autism Awareness Month, and I'm in a collab. This collab was brought to you by Tracy and Chloe's Unboxing Beauty and More. So, from my understanding, Chloe really wanted to do this collab because she has autism and her supportive mom, Tracy, helped her make it happen. So, I'm so excited to be here and be part of it. Let's talk about who is all in the collab and I will have them in the description and we will be using the hashtag Chloe's Autism awareness collab so be sure to look for that collab to see everybody's video we will be doing a month-long collab so every monday you will see if you follow us or subscribe you will see our videos pop up for april 3rd tracy and chloe's unboxing beauty and more mary catherine loves cats Teresa's starship life with christine and Bazaar's DIY and other stuff, Kim's Happy Place. For April 10th, Litzy Gem, I'm Martinez, that's me, Katie's Corner of the World, Beauty Over 50, Emily D, JM, Unboxing, and more. For April 17th, Bonnie's Bargains, Beautifying MZ, Lori's Life, Chelsea K's Creations, Unique Beauty, Simply Southern Bells, Blogs, etc. And for the 24th, Faye Blanchard, The C, Sweet and Sassy Sarah, Single Mom Review, and Taylor Marie. So, I wanted to pull up something really quick. If you didn't know, because it's so interesting to learn different things about autism. But I guess there was like a study done and it says in 2023, the year we are in now. The CDC reported that approximately 1 in 36 children in the U.S. are diagnosed with the, um, being on the autism spectrum. So, that's interesting if you didn't know already. And from my understanding, and like it being a spectrum, I don't know all the ranges, I just know that from like level one, it's like you need a little bit of help for like therapies, whether it's with the therapist or like the other kind, like speech, occupational, physical, that kind. So for level two, um, that one, you need more help, and level three, you need a lot of help. So, let's talk about my journey with my daughter. My daughter is 12 years old, and I always suspected something, but I wasn't sure, and when we started going to therapy, I, like, let them know that I would like to get her diagnosed. So, they basically told me, you know, talk to your doctor and, like, see, you know, if she needs to refer you to somebody else to make that diagnosis or whatnot. So, I brought it up at her checkup, and... She told me that she makes those diagnoses. I'm like, okay. So she wanted to see her in the telemed just to get an idea of where she's at. So we did that. And then she said that we would have to go take her to a place that specifically works with children with autism. Like they work with them like therapies and everything and I'm so sorry I cannot remember the name right now it might be on my iPad I'm not sure 
so if I find it, I will let you know in case you're like, I might get my e this kind of thing. I have no idea. I'm not finding it. But anyways. So she, from that time, it took us mm, a month to get her seen. So we started talking to her after um, the end of September. And maybe I'll talk to her in October. And then we went, I can't remember for sure, but her appointment was in the beginning of November. So we went... And I believe they let me know to make an appointment with my doctor afterwards, like, try a week after. Um, we couldn't get seen for, like, a month after. So, she, we went in, and they went, had us, me and her go in together. They just told me, like, oh, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to take away. I'm going to, like, observe her and ask her questions. And I was like, all right. So, they did that. And then that took, like, an hour. And after that, we left and just waited for her appointment. And I kept getting calls, like, before her appointment, you know, like, saying that, you know, if she needs therapies, like, you know, that they're there. But I couldn't do anything without having that diagnosis from the doctor. So we waited, and then we had the meeting with the doctor, and she said that, well, one, they didn't send in the information, but two, that she wanted to get her evaluated by a psychiatrist. So, I guess if you're high-functioning, like, that's the proper way to do things. So, I didn't know that. It was very interesting. So, we went with a psychiatrist, and it took us like two months to get that appointment and we were there in the room together most of the time and then for a period she had me leave the room and she had me come back and she was just asking questions and just like watching Melody but like it's very different because she was on a screen and my daughter is used to screens because she's homeschooled and goes to school online so she's used to looking at a screen so I don't know she thought like oh she's making very uncomfortable well that's not it she's just used to looking at the screen but you know like she tried to roll it out saying like things like she didn't have the like OCD level that I guess a lot of children with autism have like doing the repetitive things my daughter doesn't have that not really like she's very I don't care attitude a lot of the time or at least that's how she comes off so I don't know and like trying to say that she wasn't autistic because it's not common for children with autism to want to make friends so I don't know because my daughter has a desire oh no that's not normal (laughs) not to see child but just because you want something doesn't mean you get it like she wants friends because she doesn't have friends because she's you know like awkward or different from how people see normal children but they didn't look at that so whatever eventually she knew you know sir with autism because she had other things so yeah not the biggest fan of that psychiatrist and then just needed her for the diagnosis and then it took a month to see the doctor again so we finally see the doctor and she looks at everything from both reports and says you know she has autism like I'm gonna diagnose her with autism the psychiatrist said she's level one so 
but you know she's high functioning she doesn't need that much help but she needs some and she said that um like the state benefits mainly help children that are level two and level three so she's like you don't qualify but her therapist that she sees regularly says like still apply like even if they say no just still apply and i'm like all right so then i look into doing that at some point but yeah it's just been an interesting ride like we started everything at the end of september like from the start like talking to the doctor and in the end of march we finally got our diagnosis so yeah six months so if you're in the process don't worry don't lose hope don't give up because like your child needs a diagnosis like just to rule it out or to understand themselves better i love how amazing the pediatrician was with my daughter she let melody know like from the beginning like no matter what diagnosis like is given no matter what she says that she's amazing and there's nothing wrong with her and when she gave me the diagnosis she said that people with autism just see the world differently and that's true and she said that she wishes the world accommodated people with autism more than it does and i don't think there's anything wrong with you know not wanting to be judged not looking people in the eyes maybe wanting to be left alone from time to time like there's nothing wrong with that everyone's just different nobody needs the same and that's okay so i wish more people would understand that like they want the world to be moving so fast at this fast pace like everyone do this do that do that like it's not like that you don't have to always be running like to get stuff done i wish people understood that but it is what it is so i forgot to mention the picture i will have in the beginning of this video is chloe's she drew it for the collab and the picture i will have at the end is something that my daughter melody drew and it wasn't for this collab it was just the last thing she was working on so i hope you watch everybody's videos don't forget to um look up the hashtag chloe's autism awareness collab and i hope you have an amazing 